because I've, I've noticed everyone seems to be really, really on form tonight. I mean, my goodness, you've done brilliant, you've done brilliant, and you guys are, are, are even more improved than I thought you could be. <laughs> 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 whilst, whilst unfortunately, this week our Prime Minister is about to make herself look literally headless. Uh, so, yes, we can skip over the part about me, uh, about me resembling the Foreign Secretary, obviously. <laughs> I'm using cards for now in lieu of not having wigs or hats or a memory very much unlike a synth. Um, maybe it's because I'm a blunderer that I loved London so. Maybe it's because I'm one of these three called a blunderer. I'm a blunderer wherever I go. You may think that the job I've been doing was just a giant publicity stunt, but now that I've run London like a Londoner, <laughs> I represent the country like a uh, Jeremy Hunt. <laughs> You're not saying that word, guys. You're not saying that word, uh, because after all, you know, we, um, we we can only rely on on the, the forest energy to do to. to um, do as good a job as the man who has, uh, as the man who has the, the sorry, the, the, the man in charge of health in this country, who has the tenacity and the sincerity and the ability to somehow avoid corruption, uh, of a man who looks at the uh, looks at that treasured NHS and says, "I like this so much, I want to sell it." <laughs> I promise uh, Boris will be back later, although I suppose that depends on how much time do I have. How much time do I have? 10? 12? Yeah, awesome, awesome. Eight now. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> we'll give it a good go, although, although uh, I'm going to need an auxiliary of course. We, 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 we totally forgot about that. But I, I'm coming to this without a plan. It's just, just, just the, way, the way we do things in this government. Next plan. <sighs> <laughs> no plan, no thinking, um, no, no conscience. Well, some say that I'm, I say that I'm Boris's conscience because everyone otherwise thinks that I'm related to him or a child or something. And I'm like, no. um, so, uh, yes, new, fresh comedy. Um, which obviously I had to come up with at some point because my Boris performance was was. Um, getting stale, and there's nothing worse than stale comedy. Um, mine was about to get um, incredibly damp, also, and grow a new form of life on it. I'm not sure what it is, it's going to kill us all, and yes, I've just heard um, the Prime Minister has appointed it as Health Secretary. Um, so, new fresh comedy. From the new fresh comedy produce section, somewhere between the tomatoes and the kale. Uh, as a gay man, uh, my obvious choice for doing um, musical comedy with, uh, with sharp wit would, of course, to uh, be doing drag. Um, I uh, don't have time to tell you how I ended up in that dress. It was a very comfortable dress. It was a hilarious gig. But, um, yeah, you'll, you'll have to just use your imaginations. Uh, but, but, but um, although I did figure that uh, doing drag is not a good idea, because I don't look that good in that dress. Um, in my student days, I did have one idea that I wouldn't be averse to as far as drag, and that was singing songs by Lincoln Park in the style of Cher. <laughs> con man at all. Con man at all. Don't wear sandals when you're in London, Durham. And I'll, and I'll drop my shit. <laughs> I'll become so numb, I can feel you well. Become so tired, so much more aware. Become and that's all I want to know. Let's be more like me and let's like you. I may have a very young brother, but I'll be what you want me to burn. Thank you. <laughs> but let's let's not just uh, let's not just go with the with the obvious choices. I, I figure I should be more cultural 
Um, I mean, I've literally just come up with this in the last like 24 hours. Uh, no, I haven't really, but I've literally only just written this bit before I came on here. But let's go something more European. You know, I want to appeal to the older demographic. They've only got to, they've only got so long left to enjoy me. So um, yes, let's go for fabulous, amazing diva ladies. Yes, Queen. You can absolutely feel the game stripping off me. Um, oh look, who's come back? Can you feel the game stripping off me? <laughs> Good, because you know I've been staring at you all night. Don't, don't move. I like your position. <laughs> we'll come back to you later. Um, fabulous leaders. Uh, Europe, of course, especially Mrs. Edith. She died in 1962. Is that right? I didn't properly research this before I came on stage. Was it 63? Nobody knows. We're going to assume 62. She, so she only, she would have only got to see one Bond movie, and I feel that's a real shame. I think, I think if um, you know, if Edith definitely regretted one thing, it would be having only got to see Doctor No. Uh, and I think personally, Edith would have been great for actually doing a Bond theme of her own. I love you. Love you. <laughs> um, so let's just imagine for a moment if uh, if NPF actually got to do a uh, theme for Monsieur <laughs> Lang. And kneeling on shards of glass, the monks may fall. My past. <laughs> when the stars begin to gather and the light begins to fade, when all hope begins to shatter, know that I will be afraid. If I miss it all, could you break my thoughts? Lorsque n'est pas ici, je suis vacant. Je veux sentir la mort, que rire dans mes reins. Dites-moi, est-il, je suis la ronde dans mes reins. Je ne vais pas risquer les deux. À cause d'inscription sur la gueule. Just get married already. Hashtag for fuck's sake, just get married already. 
Um, but, yes, song for Trump. You might think it's impossible, but he did win the election, so I guess nothing is impossible. So here's a song which I believe would be perfect for the 45th president of the United States. It was a dream I had, it was a scheme I had to build a wall against a foreign land. It's gonna be a great wall, the best. To make life in America great again for white people who put me in command. Thank you so much. It's just a flight in Air Force One to Mar-a-Lago where the liberal media will be far away. Because it's just like I tell my kids. Don't push too far. Your dreams are China in your hand. <laughs> Don't push too far because it may come true, unlike the fake news. <laughs> I have no idea what I've said upon myself, but I'm still the very best at holding China in my enormous hands. <laughs> because that's what we're going to do. We're going to make the best deals with Asia. America is going to make the best deals with Asia, and I'm going to take Asia, and I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to grab it by the, the China. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got time for a little more Boris, haven't we? Yeah. When everyone's busy, when everyone's not busy walking out or, <laughs> or knocking their drinks over. Um, okay, uh, well, you know, I've, I've been, I've actually performed this twice today already, and, and at least twice on Saturday at the March for Europe. Hands up anyone who was at the March for Europe? Oh no. Oh, oh fuck there. you. Oh, fuck you. Oh, really? Oh, so you were there by accident? She's there. Well, everyone, everyone is somewhere near Nick Clegg by accident, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, this is, uh, this is, I believe, Boris's best way of, of phrasing the fact that uh, he, he's cocked up and, uh, and he really needs to explain himself in the style of Miley Cyrus. <laughs> you <would never> <laughs> <laughs> We crowed, we blamed Brussels in vain, we jumped, never asking why. Brexit, I fell under your spell, a cock-up no one can deny. Don't you ever say I just walked away, I will always want to be you. I just never lie, bumbling through my life, but I I came in like a ball in red <laughs> And Theresa made me far and secretary But all I wanted was to break Dane's calls All I ever did was wreck the country Yes, I wrecked the country I put the lies on Murdoch's sky The bus, mail and the sun it slowly turned, the truth has burned, and now it's all come unspun. Put your lighters up. Don't you ever say, I just walked away. I will always want to be you. I just live and I'm bumbling through my life, but I'm always on something from the EU. I came in like a falling wreck, and Teresa made me fall. All I wanted was to break these balls. Oh, all I ever did was wreck the country. Yes, I came in like a Brexit ball. I just chased my lies and spun, making Brexit in my pants. Nobody thought all we ever got was break and exit, which apparently means break and exit. It's very really confusing. Never meant to start a war. 
I just wanted me to be PM. And instead of ousting Gove, I guess I should have let Dave win. I never meant to start a war. I just wanted me to be Prime Minister. I should have let Remainers win. Did you ever say I just walked away? I always want you. What have my cake and eat it? <laughs> I came like a falling wreck. Teresa made me foreign secretary, but all I wanted was to break Dave's balls. Oh, all I ever did was wreck the country. Yes, I came like a falling wreck. Now I do laundry for the defense secretary, but all I wanted was to prick someone's balls. What we ever got was prayer exit. Make sure you check at exit before you prep at exit. Yeah. So you can imagine you, Teresa has said this plenty of times, and she's lost her fucking head. Thank you very much. Hey.